In this video, we will focus on getting a customer up and running with graphical digital signatures. You must first make sure that the base GCPDF viewer application is installed and running correctly. Click on the Run button. Does the application look something like this? Without the customizations, of course. Once you determine that the application is running correctly, add two lines of code to add the signature tool on the toolbar of the PDF viewer. By default, the signature tool is available in edit mode. Run the application. You should see a feather-like icon in the toolbar. Now we will automatically and programmatically load the file we need to sign. For our purposes, it's a lightweight single-page lease document. Add the appropriate lines of code, and then run the application. Always double-check to ensure the document loads as expected. Click on the Signature tool to open the Signature panel. Sign your name. If you want to save this signature for future use on this device, be sure to click on the checkbox next to Save Signature. Then click on the Add button. You can alternatively use the typing option to input a graphical signature as well. The signature is loaded to the bottom left of this document by default. We will cover changing this default setting in another video, so stay tuned. Click the signature and move it to the appropriate location. Then click elsewhere to get rid of the border around the signature. If you need to change the location of the signature, simply click on the signature again or click on the edit icon to the left. Select the intended object and move it. Lastly, save the document to your local drive. As a programmer or depending on client needs, you can save to both the local drive as well as on the server side as part of a content management system or document automation application. Stay tuned for more quick start videos to get you up and running. Happy coding!